Hi guys, welcome to Monitoring and Evaluation Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. We are in the seven-part Monitoring and Evaluation Plan series, and today we're going to be looking at how do you define data collection methods and timelines, okay? So we, we are in the process of developing an MRD plan. So after we have uh, uh, read through the documents, we've analyzed the kind of indicators we'll be collecting, we now need to define the kind of data collection methods that we'll be using to collect this data. So this is what this lecture will talk about. So now a data collection method, this is simply the method you use to collect your data. So it could be, you, you may choose to do interviews, which could be done through the telephone or one-on-one -on -one discussions with the respondents. That's a data collection method. Or you can choose to use email, but sending the questionnaire via email, that's a data collection method. So now, once you determine the way you are going to collect this data, it's very important to ask yourself, how often can this data be collected, okay? In my experience, there are mainly three time periods when this data can be collected within a year. It can be done quarterly, it can be done semi-annually, it can be done annually. So the reason why data is collected at different times is because it's simply because it could be a resource issue. You may not have enough resources to collect this data regularly. So you hope that, okay, given the amount of money we have, Given the amount of manpower we have, we can only collect this data once a year, okay? And that is annually. Also, it could be that the indicators that you are trying to measure can only show impact at a given period of time. Let's say if you are trying to measure crop production, you can't measure pro crop production every quarter, no, because crops take a year usually to grow. So that is why when you're determining the timeline, it's very important to take those things into consideration. But what is even more key is to make sure that every time you want to do anything as an M&D professional, make sure you read through the strategic plan thoroughly or the log frame. So this has been a very short lecture on how we should define the data collection methods and timelines. In the next lecture, we're going to be diving deeper into understanding how the M&D plan, after you've defined every aspect of it, how you actually come up with the document. I've been your host, Coach Alexander. If you haven't done so, subscribe to this channel and see you on the other side. Bye.